Hmm, so I just got to grab a party of uh, mages and go to the mage tower. I'll probably keep Strago and Mog and just add in like Celeste and Terra. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter now. At least four will work. Oops, not fast so long. Uh, I want the answer. Let's give them all circlets as well. So the Ophel gives a little bit more defense. But where I'm going, those doesn't matter. I'm about to go to some mage towering. Destroy some peoples. Let's see here. So it doesn't matter who I. Or, uh. There's gonna be no experience gained here. This tower we're about to go to only gives out, um. Oh, wait. Oh, I forgot Mog took the other Celeste Triad. I wish I got a third one, but getting one and or two is already good enough for me. Uh, how many earrings do I have? Five. Uh, pretty much everybody's gonna get a uh, mana cost down item. So it's either the Celestriad or the Gold Hairpin. And oh yeah, everyone's supposed to get a Reflect Ring as well. So let me go ahead and get some Reflect Rings on everybody. Reflectoring. Uh, oh. So as you can expect, reflect ring casts reflect on the person. So I don't have to worry about anybody casting magic on me. Good to go. Of course, oh yeah, it doesn't matter if I have a Esper or not. <clears throat> because uh, we're only gaining MP or AP at this next uh, location. So normally I would uh, just sit here and grind for days. But since this is not a 100% speed or 100% <laughs> run, I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, I should have brought Mog actually. Let's bring Mog. Because Mog is able to bring, uh, use the uh, Moogle Charm, which uh, bypasses any uh, encounters. So let me actually get Mog up in here. So Terra and Strago should have had the uh, Celestriads. I guess it doesn't really matter between Celeste and. Celeste and uh, the realm. We're all going to be casting ultimate, anyways. Let's see here. I don't think there's any weapon I can have that increases magic on Mog. It's going to be Circulet. Go ahead and grab the Sprint Shoes and also the Moogle Charm. This calls. Malulu's charm, in which I heard that that is actually Mog's either girlfriend or wife, something like that. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I think that is the case. Alright, so now I'm just gonna go straight up, not worry about any encounters. Though there is the uh, 
dragon, holy dragon here. He's gonna find him. We will fight him. He's right here. Nope. Keep going. You know, when I first came here, they were definitely overpowered compared to my own characters, so. I just grabbed all the items and left. And this should be it. Yep. Alright. Mog. Let's go ahead and switch. Get the gold hairpin and also a reflect ring for fun, just in case. Let's see, is there anything that can add magic? Silk robe is not good enough. That's a big drop in, uh,. HP. Well, technically, I guess Recoat Cloak would be good in this tower because uh, the magic defense. Because they can only do magic to us. Only uh, unfortunate side is that I lose my plus magic, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, looks like Genji armor actually adds magic too, which is pretty nice. Okay. Alright then. Let's get this Holy Dragon defeated. Haha! Mm -hmm. -ha. Get reflected on, son. Uh, <laughs> try to do dispel on me, um, but that is not going to work because it's a reflect ring. Of course, unfortunately, uh, it is a holy element, so it's going to absorb. <laughs> Sort of the magic I'm trying to bounce back at it. And that's a wrap. <laughs> I was like, what, two, maybe three Ultimas? That's crazy. I think uh, they keep the HP rather low because the fact that you have to use magic. Ooh, Holy Lance. Ooh, and it gives magic. Nice. Uh, again, let's just the Moose Charm. Oh, where is it? There it is. I guess I can walk the slow way up without the sprint shoes. Should only be a couple more uh, steps here. Maybe a full another <laughs> set of steps. I guess maybe I should have. Uh... Use sprint shoes. Yeah, let's go get sprint shoes on. Hey, yeah. It's funny how impatient I am. Alright, let's go ahead and re-equip everything. I don't think I'll in, uh, encounter anything in here, but you never know. Oh wait, I'm supposed to do reflect ring. Alright, that should be an easy battle. Real question is, do I want to... Nah, I don't need to... Uh, Equip that. Soul of Thamasa pretty much doubles your magic potency, but it also doubles the MP cost. But look for me, uh, a lot of our guys already have reduced MP costs already. Return Kefka's treasure. The treasure. It's interesting that this guy's coming in the cloak. Kind of reminds me of a ghost. But he is actually not a ghost. He's this guy. Alright. Just Ultima T dies. Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, so this guy will only cast magic. Um, apparently, you could berserk him. Then he will uh, not, you know, cast magic anymore because he's berserked. However, we just have Ultima, so it doesn't matter. And uh, even then, uh, if he tries to cast magic on us, we do have Reflect Rings. And so he is not getting through. I don't know how much HP he has. Probably like 50,000 or something. But once he casts Ultima, that means he dies. Because that's his, like, martyrdom attack. Oh, bite. Also, I believe every time he gets hit by an element, he will barrier change. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, there it is. That's a wrap. Oh! <laughs> I almost still died. Holy crap. Luckily, I did, uh, made sure my, um, my character's, uh, added HP to themselves. Uh, I don't know if, uh, stamina... What is it? If stamina helps with the, um, magic defense? Or not, but... No, it's really close. I would've been a little sad if I died. Because I didn't have enough HP. <laughs> to tank that, uh, Ultima. And granted, I would just uh, have one of them wear a shell ring instead of a uh, like gold hairpin. Yeah, that was definitely close. And I guess this is another reason why I would uh, equip the reed cloak because it added more uh, magic defense. I guess the magic defense totally uh, depends on the armor that they're wearing. Not quite as much as the stats. But, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't think I can teleport out. I tried that before. My first uh, visit here. Yeah. For some reason it won't let me. We know this is technically a dungeon, but they don't care. Because <laughs> the thing is, uh, there's a town called Zozo in which you do encounter stuff there, too. But it's a town. Um, let me see. I guess I can go ahead and use some tents. I kind of wish there was a uh, way you can just fully heal everybody. But it's nice to see these little tents. Because <laughs> these tents uh, match the color of the sprite that is using it. Alright. Let's go ahead and get to Kafka. Oh yeah, oops. I'm trying to think. I think there was one more side quest I could do. It's uh, Strago's. What? what, what? Alright, we're going in. Yeah. It's time we took the battle to Kepka's doorstep. I don't know if I'm actually able... Well, I don't know if you're able to actually win with only uh, four people. Or do you actually have to go around getting get more people? The gods of the Warring Triad control the magic of the Esper world. If we destroy them, you're worried about what might happen? I'm not sure, but... Espers. Even magic itself would vanish from the world. And if that happens, what happens to Terra? Because Terra is half Esper. I love how they just like don't even give an explanation of what's going on right here. All right, so pretty much, let's see, Mog can be with pretty much what I would consider the weak party because you're pretty much not gonna fight because. Um, Mox and have the Mulu charm. Um, split the mages up. Uh, guess 
Block can go with his lover. <laughs> I guess Edgar can go with his brother. Let's see. separated but we would have to because otherwise why even uh, split to three parties one try room breaks all right let's see here new charm and sprint shoes okay what do I want him to have He's pretty much not gonna do much. He's kind of meh. Get a Zephyr cloak and just have a wrist. I don't know. Oh, I thought that just boosts my magic to like over a hundred. I was like, whoa, but that's not the case. So I'll keep it on Swordbreaker, I guess. The Mythal Rod would boost my magic. I don't think I really need to boost my magic anymore. Because Ultima will pretty much kill everything. I guess I'll keep Swordbreaker. As for this, <sighs> don't you have cards you can have? Again, I shouldn't really worry too much about what these guys have. Honestly, they're not going to encounter anybody, so I don't need to worry about that. Fix the dice. What does this do? Trio of dice that deal more damage the higher they roll. Let's try it. Yeah, not like I'm gonna fight anything, but I don't even know if I'm in the right place. Yeah, I think I am. So I think I need the other party to hit that switch. Let me make sure I didn't miss any items. It is really nice being able to just skip encounters. Too bad I can't just do that for everybody, but it's, it's what it is. Let's see. Oh, Hypno Crown. I think that's for uh, Mrs. Realm here. Increases the rate of control. Technically, it's better. Oh, but the thing is, I need to also wear something else. I forget. I think it's one of these. The fake mustache, I think. Yeah, fake mustache allows me to uh, use control instead of sketch. And again, I'm really not going to use either or. I normally don't use either or, anyways. I feel like it's just uh, slower. Because you're not doing damage, you're just controlling uh, the enemy. Alright. Alright, make sure you guys are equipped with stuff. Okay, only one of y'all should uh, have the Celestriad. Uh, let's have. Uh, 
outside of you, dude. Celestiad. Um. Ooh, this adds a... Uh, oh, only one critically wounded. That's sad. Hearing... What's the scroll? How many sandals? Celestiad. Alright, how about you? Sintetsuken. I feel like Cyan should have Sintetsuken. You can have Ultima Weapon. You can have Gauntlet. Just be super powerful. You can have Master Scroll Mate. No. Hmm. It's actually. He's pretty much gonna use his tools more often than not. So maybe instead. Let's, let's try that. You can wear a Genji Glove. And have a Hyper Wrist. You just wail on things. Oof. You got damage. Oh, Genji Armor does add uh, some stats here. Yeah, let's see here. Strago. I guess he can add stamina. Well, actually, I guess she can add stamina. What can you add then? Let's have Terra add stamina. In the off chance that she does level up. Uh, more magic, I guess. This is magic's at what? 80? Edgar. Strength. This marker. What about you? Seven. Seven. Doesn't really need anything. Maybe HP. Maybe that. Fight stuff. That was a Bronchiosaurus. Or at least the same sprite as one. Do I really want to be using Ultima? I don't think it's really necessary, right? I do want to kill that Marlboro before it does anything dumb. We never bust the air. I think Genji Armor might be better for her. Yep. Yeah, I mean one more, uh, well, the bonus MP might actually be beneficial. Mm. We'll wait and see. Yeah, honestly, just having... Ultima just makes it so much easier. Yeah, I don't even have to use Ultima. Obtained another pinwheel. Oh, it looks like a way to go up there, actually. Hello, 
we'll just keep going. There's a toilet. I see this is a Kafka's holding cell from earlier. Uh-oh. Crap. That's okay. Oh, that's a, uh, Omega weapon? Whoever it is, it's whoop its ass. I have a really strong team, too. I was one is known as Ultima, forged an eternity ago and left here, forgotten in the mist of time. Long have I pondered what I should do. Long, long have I pondered. But now it seems I have an answer. Oh, it's like cogs in its back. It's pretty, uh, iffy. Maybe let's go ahead and cast some haste gun on everybody. Of course, let's just hit it with some Ultima. Oh, wait, what? Did he just uh, get haste too? What? What happened? I think I'm just going to drill, actually. I just want to test see how much uh, damage... Uh, Edgar does with the basic... Auto attack. Oh, Strago still has his uh, reflect ring on. Let's try to switch that out. Give him something more. Uh, something, something. I should also auto attack with uh, seven. See how much that hurts. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. I didn't even get to Osmos. It's not even my final form. What did I get? Save spot? Because I'll take that. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, switch Strago's reflect ring off. It happened to come in handy, but I didn't really need to do that. Uh, I don't need Soul Thumb, Masa. I pretty much just need defensive items, to be honest. Look at that. Wait, he has a Paladin Shield. I feel like that's a little much. He said he doesn't need a Paladin Shield. Let's go ahead and use a Tanto. Actually, I wonder if I can teleport out of here. Yes, I can actually, if I wanted to. Not sure where I would teleport to, but. Wow! I have no idea where we are. That's a Humaba clone. Oh, yeah, I f forgot I had already. Um, Flare does all nice too. Yeah, I feel like I can definitely beat this game in like level 50, give or take. Oh, they're uh, movers. Uh, so, movers give a buttload of everything. Primarily, uh, XP, AP, money. But it looks like it's not the case in this game. That's actually saddening. So at least gave me a lot of money, you know? I would have taken that. Uh, 
Am I stuck? Oh, I think they, they were crawling very slowly. <laughs> I thought I was stuck in the pipe, but they were just crawling in there. I think anyways. Uh, I don't know where this is. We went all the way back to the beginning. No, it's not too far. He's got to fight a couple more times. Oh yeah, I might get hit with the eye for an eye right here. Yep. I wonder if there's a way to dodge that counterattack. guys are not worth my time. I think none of them are worth my time, to be honest. I feel like I should just teleport away from all of them. I don't think about it. Alright. So, we're supposed to take the pipe on the left. Yeah, let's go ahead and teleport. Transfusion. Whoa! Ooh, another four shield. Oh, <laughs> I'm so down. So we can't go that way. Back attack. Can't escape. Oh no. If that's the case. Oh, hey, Mako gets blocked. Ooh. Ah, hey, Mako gets blocked again. not quite the ooh another ribbon it's not quite the right way but it's the right way enough to move forward let's right, give you the enhancer oh okay, you don't need both the Minear near buster bustier and then the balance shield at the same time uh, let's do fight the celestriad also give you Peace ring. I guess a ribbon. Let's give her a ribbon. As for you, you're gonna use a gaunt not gauntlet, a uh, Genji glove. We got both wing edges. Wedges. Let's see, I think the red cap's better. I much as much defense as I can. Uh, let's go and get the Brigadier's Glove. Or Brigand's Glove. Actually, let's do Thief Bracer, actually. Because, mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, having the Brigand's Glove allows me to mug twice because I have a weapon in each hand. But I wonder if that's like the same as just having this Thief's Bracer. Because, you know, damage is not something I'm going to worry about. Because everyone else is pretty strong. So, how about I just do this for now? Let's see. Just making sure. Okay. 
that's... Yeah, let's probably give uh, the other ribbon to another character in a different team. Hey, I forget if I can... S no, I can't stack Hyperus. I give him the Gigas glove. Or maybe the other one. Heroes Ring, I believe. Oh. Gauntlet. With the Hyper Wrist. Oof. That's a big jump. From 68 to 102. That's crazy. Make it even higher if I wanted to. It's funny, like Diamond Helm is not much better. It's actually not better compared to the stats I get from wearing the uh, circlet. I wonder if I should just keep the crystal mail. That's only three defense. I might as well boost my magic defense. All right, let's try this. Uh, what do you need? This HP, give her Bahamut. Speed's pretty good. I know lock speed's like phenomenal. Uh, I guess he can have. He has 8,000. Is that from the. Oh, that's from the red cap. Okay. <laughs> I was like, his HP is at 8,000. Um, give him more strength, I guess. Pretty sure I'm using Radiant, right? No. Okay, let's actually give him Radiant then. Shadow. Um. Okay, he doesn't really need anything. Just regular magic then, I guess. Cyan. Speed. He is slow. Slower than a bug. Man, <laughs> that's very slow. But again, I don't foresee myself fighting enough to level up. What we'll see here. Ooh, another red cap. Cool. I was kind of curious to see how much Cyan will do with a single auto attack. Nutkin suit, except for uh, a little misses. I'm just curious. Do not see it. Oh, there it is. Oversized squirrel costume. Probably for Realm. Because Realm is very tiny. And another gauntlet, which I already have. I have two of them. Made these guys. Oh, they did no damage. Oh, yeah, one of us is supposed to have a master scroll. Hmm. I'm not sure if this is better or worse. Uh, maybe Master Scroll isn't that great. If I like grinded more strength out, then maybe, but I didn't grind that much out. Uh, 
Hunter Five is big, but it's not big enough. Not big enough. I didn't even pay attention to how much damage Locke just did to Baha, that behemoth, greater behemoth. He died in one uh, shot. Hopefully I didn't miss that item. Or maybe I don't really care. Hero's Ring, get another one. I just did half my life. I thought it was like just some heavy hitting damage or attack. Huh. So the way like the conveyor belt looks like it's moving, it's kind of misleading. I was like, oh yeah, we're all level 68. Yeah. 68, yep, still good, I think. Four doesn't go to 68, right? Yes, it does! How many times? 22? No, not 22. 64, or 68. Uh, 22 times. No? No, not 22. Four. Oh. It's uh, 17 times. Well, that sucks. That's okay. I'm still too strong for them. Oh, yeah. This guy got recycled. He's back. Uh, Inferno. That did minimal damage. Great Pierre. Oh, I like the steel, please. So bot. I think he might just die. Oh, I'd like to steal from it, but if I guess I can't, that was whatever. Yep, he did. So, if I'm not mistaken, I believe you can get all items from other battles. Except for Ragnarok, I believe. Let's actually use a tent. So I can get on my mana back. That's a nice tent. <laughs> Purple-esque. I'm not sure how that matches uh, Celeste's color, but... Oh, well. I also realized Shadow's in the back. Put up front. everybody. Not that much. Oh, 
all this. Multiple dragons on that guy, I believe. Yeah, I see there's like three of them. But one Ultima will finish him off. <laughs> There's a thingy. Stop that elevator. <laughs> That's a big ass worm. Oh, it just. Okay. <laughs> that did not pose a threat whatsoever. Oh, here's another dragon. A bile dragon or something. Holy should do it, right? Skull Dragon. Also try stealing from it, actually. I will try to steal from uh, these other bosses that are coming up later. I believe one of them actually drops the Ragnarok Sword, meaning you can steal the Ragnarok Sword from it. Oh, he's already dead. Uh, I believe there's only one dragon left. Right, muscle belt. One dragon remaining. I believe he, he's still in this tower as well. I don't know if it's a dead end or if this is the way to go. Whoop, whoops. He's doing button presses. Oh, I was supposed to cast uh, Ultima again. We get a quick fight. <laughs> Just killing everybody here. Uh oh. Oh, I love how it's not even gonna wait for the roulette to be done. Oh, it's Shadow Dead, though. Haha! <laughs> Haha! That's pretty cool. So I'm gonna wait to see that maybe one of us dies. I'm just gonna kill you first. Yeah, I think this is the actual way to go. Yeah, let's uh, backtrack real quick. Just because I'm curious, and maybe because I forgot what else there is. Yeah, let's go ahead and teleport. Uh, Doom. Yep. Rainbow brush. Oh, I realized that I just uh, changed the path for a different team so they can go that way. Oh, came from here. Whoops. Back to. That's very mean, though. <clears throat> so what if we're all... I guess that's probably the one reason why you don't want to have all your party members the same level, in case that happens. Wow, Celeste is almost at max to uh, MP. Oh, so I guess that's the only way to go. Uh, okay.
So now that, uh... The update just goes back. Let's just get to this dragon room, and then let's switch to a different party. We might have to fight something here, right? No. Oh yeah, so the third party had to hit that little switch over there to stop this moving platform. I think we're about to fight one of the bosses, right? I also think uh, Pinwheel is actually the third... Uh-oh. <laughs> As you can tell, looks like the other two parties hit those switches, and then this Moogle party is about to get a hurt real bad, potentially. I'm not 100% sure yet. Uh, let's see here. Just get rid of the Paladin Shield. <laughs> uh, it should be okay. I'm not too worried, actually. Alright. If that's the case, uh, just let it rock. <laughs> that does make no sense. Learn transfusion. I wonder if transfusion is like hmm, whatever that move is that, uh, Sabin knows. Where's the other dragon? That's a chariot. That's an eye thingy, my Bob. That's a bio. Daedalus, Ariman. Because I can hit this guy with holy, I think. Oh, guess not. Guess he's dead. They're both dead. Learn Quake, learn Doom. Learn all these uh, blue magics. Oh, he does not have poison, huh? That's okay. Dragon Vital. That's Thunder Dragon, I believe. Yeah, I'm gonna use a uh, Flare instead of Ultima, just to save some MP. You can use Ultima though for fun. Yeah. That's a wrap. And this is uh, what grinding pays off. Or when grinding pays off. In Crystal Orb. All eight dragons have been defeated. Eight full sealed is broken. Obtain the Crusader Magicite. There's a small stone tablet on the ground. On his face is a short inscription. The seal is broken, and I am free. You who defeated Legendary 8, I shall await you at the Dragon Tour. And I believe that's for Diablos. Um, let me just look at Crusader. Meltdown and Meteor. Oof. Oof. Looks pretty good. It's just... You get it so late that it kind of doesn't matter. All that matters is Ultima. I don't think he has teleport actually. Or he does have teleport. I might as well use Ultima. And then when I hit, get hit by with I for an eye. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Just goes to sleep. Oh, 
Oh, he's only 16 off from full health. I don't even know if uh, we're able to reconvene it or anything. I think these two parties can like switch off. Oh, they cannot. Alright, Moogle. I believe in you. Oh. Wait. So Mugo does not have to be the one who fights the actual boss. I love how he's like flexing. Moogle strong. Moogle very strong. Alright, so he opened up this side. And so then I'd use Terra to push off the other thingy. It's interesting too that the uh, path closes after uh, again, the person goes through. For whatever reason. Well, that's not enough to kill him. Still not enough to get them. Okay. <laughs> Four tons. It's pretty funny. Let's go hit this switch. I guess Celeste's team's gonna be the one that faces. Kefka first. Or just faces Kefka in, in general. Oh, never mind. He's gonna face this boss instead. Uh, let's see if there's any. Let's use Eclipse. Or, I forgot which one it is. Okay, so it's a single. Blah blah. Man, I wish I remember which one's which. I know this is the AoE for all enemies, but I want the one that he charges up and hits everybody like 10 slashes or something like that. 8 slashes. I don't remember which one it was. I guess I can just test it out. Let's do this one. And of course, Mr. Support man can support us. I need to pay attention to see if uh, Locke stole anything, or if they even have any items to steal. Enemy has no items. Okay, it's good to know. Let's about to attack again. What well, is a buttload of damage? I didn't even, even do flare. Tempest! Yep, I am correct. Oof. We got damage. Oh, it's only four. Oh, I think Tempest uh, are automatically critical hits. That's the thing with Tempest. Yeah. So in this game, uh, you actually have pinwheels, which is one item higher than Fuma Shurukens. Though I did get a lot of imp partisans, so I feel like it doesn't matter.
I'm starting to think uh, the two sideways are optional areas I could be going. Because we're able to fight the uh, triad. Triad enemies over here. Yep. I'm trying to steal. I don't think it's from him that I steal Ragnarok. But I know somebody has Ragnarok to be stolen. Uh, could steal. Alright, I'm just gonna sit here and maintain for a while while uh, I try to steal whatever he has. Diamond. Do I have Libra? I don't have Libra. Can't use protect on everybody. Ouch. Stop. Couldn't steal. So I think maybe I should just have the uh, mug. Just have more chances. Surfing. I have no idea what that is. That'd be cool if uh, vanishing makes a steal happen more often. A like higher chance of success. I guess when I move, uh, Vanish goes away, I think. I'm gonna try a couple more times, otherwise I'm just gonna start hitting him. Jeez. do as much damage as I anticipated. I'm just gonna search up. Is there even anything worth stealing from Demon? That is Lancet. So maybe Tempest is the only one worth doing. So it says it has a red jacket. I don't think I really care about that. I did not see. Alright, last heal, and I'm gonna start having Celeste start ultimating. Casting Ultima on him. Taiga. Oh. Alright, last steal as well, and I'm gonna start attacking.
Oh, he's dead. You are defeated. Yeah, it says he doesn't have any item. He drops a Radiant Lance, though. Whatever that is. Is that Holy Lance? Or is that Radiant Lance? Different. Yep. Radiant Lance is different, indeed. Huh, interesting. Uh, let's see what it is. It glows with inner light. What does the orb do? Boost maximum MP by 50%. It's a nice brush. Let's fight the other ones. Oh, can I even go fight the other ones? I'm not safe. We. Oh, this opens the other two. I'm assuming. down. Wait. I'm a little confused now. something oh there's a random ribbon in the corner here nice Switch. Uh, it's supposed to be something. I'm not sure. So it would have made sense if I could fall down. But I can't. It also makes sense if I could come back out through the door. Must be like very blind. I feel like I'm supposed to do something before I went this way. Pew 
pew pew pew pew pew pew. You're missing something. Well, maybe I can press this button. There we go. There we go. Just getting ahead of myself. Ah. Oh. That sucks. I can't steal from uh, the other lady then. So I'm stuck here. If that's the case. Finish it. I don't have flare. Mm. You can just speed everybody up though. Oh, you got flare though. I don't know if he if he does nines, I'm definitely gonna do it. No. Let's go ahead and use Ultima. Just attack. <laughs> that sucks so bad. Yeah, we're just gonna Ultima. Everyone does Ultima. He doesn't have Ultima. He has Flare though. Uh oh. Fiend's aura is trembling violently. Too bad it's not strong enough to withstand Ultima. From everybody. Uh oh. I think that nullifies damage for a little bit, right? Oh, never mind. <coughs> Immune to poison, which I have not been using. Uh oh. Wait. I'm sorry. Oh, nice. Oh, then I use it again. <laughs> Whoops. Hopefully he dies. I can't believe Sessor does not have... Oh, it's dead. <coughs> Sessor does not have... Um, Ultima. Looks like a weapon for Cyan. Oh yeah. Let me see here. So Radiant Lance better. Yeah, Hella is better. I feel like I should give it to uh, the other dude. For his name already. Uh, Edgar. Cause he's the only other guy that can use spears. I believe I can make this guy when I step on the switch. Time to raise. No damage. Struggle gained a level. More magic. Alright, I guess go ahead and give you Radiant Lance. Ooh, look at those buffs. This way. Then time to go fight the last boss lady. Again, she's the one that should be. Able, I would have been able to steal uh, Ragnarok from, but I don't have uh, lock in my party.
that's quite all right. I guess it's the only bad part about being split up. I have to cast Keska twice, because there's one for each of us, which is like side of, side of the party. I should really be auto attacking, if I'm honest. But I might just be dead. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, drill that, whatever that is. Ooh, nine, 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 nine. Four nines. Radiant Lance is what I needed. We get Excalibur. Who gets Excalibur? I think Celeste could wield it. She's a mage right now, so. We started Warring Triad, but the power of magic isn't fading like it should be. Could Kafka have extracted the very source of magic from them? Knowing him, he would, because he's a scumbag. Let's see. She can also wield Excalibur, but it lowers her magic, so no. What about Atomic Rays? Was that Atomic Rays? Whatever it was, it casts Doom instead of actually doing damage. Or if it's like an orbital strike type of thing. Haha! -ha. Alright, I think it should be the final battle. This is the final battle. Good luck, Koopo! <laughs> Not Koopo. Or Mog. So I would say I probably did extra two hours with the grinding that I kind of didn't need to, but it's always nice to just be able to rush, boss rush through the end. Alright, let's do it. Trying to kick us some Kafka ass. For everything that he's done. I think we have to start with Realm. So Moogle's party on the left. They were the leftmost switch. And then it just... As you die, if you do die, uh, I believe your new party members can just jump in. But I might be mistaken. Welcome, friends. Oh, it's Mr. Bastard Kek. I knew you'd come, so I've been practicing my greeting. How much do you have to destroy before you have had your fill, Kefka? I've acquired the ultimate power. Observe. Such magnificent power. You're nothing more than fleas compared to me now. Embrace your destruction is the fate of all things. And he has like the power of ESP to be destroyed. Maybe it is, but people can always rebuild and new lives are always reborn. It's kind of throwing me off that it doesn't have like dialogue boxes. And town will destroy all those as well. Why do people insist on creating things that will inevitably be destroyed? Why do people cling to life knowing that they must someday die? Knowing that none of them or none of it will have meant anything after once they do. <laughs> because it's not the end that matters, it's knowing you have something to live for right now, at this moment. Something you've worked for, something that's worth protecting. Wow. As long as you have that that's enough. And did you all find your somethings in this broken world that just won't die? Yes. It <laughs> jumps away. Love. A person worth protecting. 
a wife and child who live on within me, friends and family, a peaceful kingdom, a loving brother who always looks out for me, <laughs> someone willing to accept me for who I am, an adorable little granddaughter, an obnoxious grandpa who I couldn't live without, wings from a dear old friend, new pals, Koopo, these people, all them, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Power of love whipped, wiped out his little barrier. Bleh. You people make me sick. You sound like lines from a self-help book. Uh oh. If that's how it's going to be, I'll snuff them all out. Every last one of your sickening, happy little reasons for living. No Kefka, stop! Alright. Oh, damn. Stop! I wield the greatest power in existence. You may as well be the dirt on the bottom of my boots. Or the dirt stuck to the bottom of that dirt. <laughs> Kept it so weird. Whoa, burning garbage. I'll destroy everything. I'll create my own empire of death. You can't destroy everything. People will always have dreams. No, I'll destroy the entire world. There won't be anything left to dream about. It's like, was this Kefka's like master plan all along? I thought he just wanted power, but <laughs> I don't know. We won't let you hurt any more people. Hee hee hee. But what fun is destruction if no precious lives are lost? Oh no. Oh, they shuffled the party around a little bit. I really hope I don't get wiped. <laughs> this cutscene is pretty long. Oh. Decide participation order. Mm, I don't know. Just do four at a time. I should probably split the people who have Celestriad. Not that it really matters anyways. people into the mix here. Alright. Don't know what this guy's butt. <laughs> Why does he look so different from his sprite? Right. Attack the face. Always go for the face. Oh. Oh. What? What? Wow. wow. Alright. Uh, let's see what Ultima. Hopefully Ultima is just enough in general. I don't have to do nothing. Whoops. I didn't mean to hit the short arm. This is a good party too because everyone's in the back row, I believe. Though they didn't let me choose a row, rowage. Uh, I guess we just heal. Oh. His face is now broken. Alright. I think this should uh, do it for Kefka's main body. He's about to ascend to the next level here. Shockwave! Oh yeah, this is weird. So we just beat his like main body. Now we have to like beat all these like I don't even know. So, <laughs> so what is all this? Why did you... <laughs> I guess because uh, animations were lacking in this game. They pretty much like pretended that he um, turned into this. You know what I mean? Huh, power, tiger, machine, magic. Don't really know the difference. I'm gonna try to dispel everything. Meaning, I don't remember which one I dispelled already. 
Uh, tiger, it looks like I dispelled already. Tiger and face. Uh, we raise. Tiger and power. So let's do magic. Somebody died. 10 hit combo, Wombo. So that's really weak. Because we're in the back row, son. Gotta reach. <laughs> you gotta use your hands and reach. Uh, he should re raise, but I don't know how much. Uh, he re raise. How much damage they re, -re raise to. But regardless. Should be dead. I oh, know my haste went away. Huh. Oh no. Wait, who am I? <laughs> oh, they're all dead. Oh. Gravica. Do I have remedies? Anything to get rid of my uh, silence would be nice. Yes. So the guy on the very left looks kind of like Sabin, actually. And then right under it looks like uh, Edgar. I'm not sure about the lady in the back or the other guy that looks like Edgar. But it's definitely Kefka. <laughs> but yes, it's so funny. I'm like ascending through the ages of Kefka or something. Of course, it was man, then it was like something. I don't even know. I should probably heal, actually. I should probably heal with uh, somebody else. Rest. I have no idea. So whatever part I just attacked died. Bang. Full health. I think it's just going to slowly... Uh, just keep sounding like things die off. You know, it's like one piece. Or like one whole enemy. Wait, what am I doing? Use quick. If I have quick. Oh, I don't have quick. You don't have quick. Oh no, he's using meteor. It did no damage. So heal myself just because. Wow. <laughs> no, Strago. These were the statues after Kefka drained them. Oh. I did not know that. No, but I thought we uh, fought the three already. The three statues. Represents hell, earth, and heaven. Hmm. Definitely have to look over that again. Oh, Strago died. So now, Moogle jumped in. And this one's heaven? What about this one? Oh, those were shells. Ah, makes sense. This is... <laughs> this reminds me of Sephiroth. When he uh, turns into his savior Sephiroth. These were their power. Interesting. Where did they come from? Where did they go? Such meaningless things. I'll destroy them all. It's funny because I've beaten this two other times already, but I did not know that that those were the actual powers of these three statues. Goes to show I wasn't really paying attention. At the same time, though, uh-oh. Oh. That's cheap. Goes to show how much uh, I was actually paying attention. Or also goes to show how fast I kill these things. I don't really pay attention. Alright, Terra, wake back up. You gotta cast some magic on this dude. But if you haven't seen my other parts of the streams, I uh, grinded everybody to like level 68. It's 
so I'm pretty overpowered, I must say. Oh! Kefka face out of nowhere! I didn't know what move that was. <laughs> it's like a secret face just popped out. Kinda creepy. Okay, this is definitely giving me uh, Final Fantasy VII vibes. At least the final boss. Forsaken. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen this move. Ever. It's like beat him so fast every time. Oh, that doesn't do that much damage. Oh. He's done. Stab with the Holy Spear. Or Holy uh, Lance. Sweet. <laughs> GG's, yep. Yeah. I feel like I could have probably um, came here at like level 55 instead of 68. Tower's collapsing, it's Yeti and Gogo. -Go. There's no time to lose. Come on, the airship's just ahead. Yay, Terra. Come on, everybody, we can make it if we work together. <laughs> As she trips over and falls. Uh. Oh yeah, it's because all the magic site slash magic is disappearing. The magic site. Magic is disappearing. The Vespers are fading from the world now. What happened to Terra? Come with me. I can use the last of my power to guide you out. I think they did the same thing in uh, Resident Evil, the movie, whatever the last movie's called. Because Alice had a T-virus inside of her, or whatever. But uh, there was like a worldwide cure that was released into the air. Destroyed all the T-viruses, but Alice uh, survived despite being like fully infected by it or something like that. I think the same thing is happening here with espers and magic because yeah Terra I guess would have theoretically died slash uh, faded away too but she's half human Cyan Garamonda now, a lot of times we never really see the last names of these characters oh no Cyan could you hit that switch I, um, mechanical devices are not my strong point. <laughs> step on it. So like, was he not watching when we stepped on the panels on the way up there? Yeah. <laughs> He's so funny. I do believe I'm getting better, though. That's funny. Setzer as Setzer Gabiani. Also, I noticed that uh, they put the names because you can change the people's names. Of course, I didn't. But if you give them different nicknames, they would tell the real name here. Uh, why did they drop the white coin? I don't understand. <laughs> Whenever you think you're right, you're wrong. And that's a big mistake. That was what you always used to say, wasn't it, Daryl? Oh, poor Setzer. I'm pretty sure that was like his waifu. Edgar. As. Edgar. Edgar Roni Figaro. Sounds very, uh. Italian. And also Sabin, Rene Figargo. <laughs> Open up! So you have a drill, man. Oh, never mind. It's not like I wanted to dump all that responsibility on you. 
I need you to look out for the kingdom. I wanted to be able to look out for you. That's why I went off to become stronger. Okay, they uh, flipped <laughs> to see who became king. And then, of course, uh, Edgar used a double-headed coin, so he became king regardless. <laughs> Mog. And then Seven, he never wanted to become king. But, like you said, he just wanted to be strong so he can protect his brother. Help me, Kupo! <laughs> it's like a crane game. <laughs> Grab it by the little uh, thingy on his head. My hair! Watch the hair! I'm not a stuffed animal, Kupo. <laughs> Is that a little, like, antenna thing on his head? His hair? <laughs> That'd be hilarious. To that one strand of whatever it is. Umaro as Umaro. <laughs> it's funny when some credits are like Umaro or like the person's name that says as himself. <laughs> they should have done that. They should have done that if they like you name the same person uh, their own name. But at the same time, uh, they do give last names. Oh. Umaro Strong. Uga. Go go. That's creepy. I can only imagine what this game would look like if they like remade it. Same with all the other uh Older Final Fantasies. Both buttons have to be pressed at the exact same time, the exact same way. Go, go. Mimic at Celis. Say, that's a specialty. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah, I remember that, uh little helmet somehow let you breathe underwater it really made sense to me it's like a super snorkel shortcut take shortcut rock slide this <laughs> is Shortcut, take shortcut. Are we gonna jump on the rocks this time? Yep. <laughs> you gotta force them onto the rocks. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, Celeste. Oh, lock. Whichever. Lock, coal. And Celeste as. So that's Cher. That's a nice name. Terra's probably the last character. Come on, this place is breaking apart. Well, that's a uh, Locke's bandana that uh, she found, or the seagull was carrying back when she first. Uh, Whatever. Woke up after Cup Cup destroyed the world. I will let go, I promise. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Are you crazy? You almost got yourself killed for that. <laughs> Just drags her away. It's like, come on, girl, let's go. You can brood later. And Terra, the one that started it all. Terra Branford. Now I wonder why they wait all the way till the ending to actually tell us what their last names are, if they have one. 
Oh, the Magisites disappearing. It's Manduin. It's her father. Terra, we must part now. We espers will disappear from this world. You may fade away as well. But perhaps if the human part of you feels something strong enough, then maybe. Just maybe you will be able to remain here as a human. That's crazy. Realm as... Oh, I forgot about Realm and Strago. Realm... Aroni? <laughs> Interesting name. Aroni. Does Strago have the same last name? Hey, Strago, wrong way. You can't give up yet. Oh yeah, because to, they have to walk in the opposite direction of the elevator. Sorry, dear. Any more whining out of you and I'll paint your picture. Oh no, anything but that. <laughs> uh, but you know, someday I really would like to paint your portrait. On canvas, I mean. Oh, Realm, look what you've done. You made me get all misty eyed, and now I can't see where we're going. Shadow, oh yeah, Shadow. Shadow as Shadow. Yeah, we don't know anything about his past. Other than uh, he'll leave home. Oh, did I miss a chest? That's what it looks like. Go on, Interceptor. Get going. But why? <laughs> why are you just going to go die for? Take care of yourself, boy. Of course, the Interceptor is going to follow him. But uh, looks like I can finally stop running. Come and find me, alright? Huh. Did you just choose death? That's a sad and dark ending for him. Struggle Magus. That's funny, that's a uh, actual class. Magus class. <laughs> Come on, Shargo, you can't let yourself be shown up by a bunch of kids. Gotcha. And me. <laughs> Because technically I was a narrator of this whole thing, reading out loud and stuff. Get out of here. Follow me. <laughs> Superman's out. Supergirls. The last piece of magicite. Terra, get back in the ship. Terra, you've done enough. Your power is getting weaker. Terra isn't going to be able to hold out much longer. <laughs> no. Not mama. Mama Terra. Ooh. Katarine is delivering her baby. Don't give up, Katarine. I won't either. And we're out. Not yet. Not yet. Tara? 
Where's Tara? Tara! She's still here. Because a human form felt strong enough to want to be in this world. Thank you, Setzer. I told you, didn't I? She's the fastest ship in the world. Do credit roll. Nice. All right, that's Final Fantasy VI. Arguably, probably the best retro Final Fantasy. Some like this one uh, out of all of them. Um, but yeah, I pretty much cut it off at six. Six and before are all the retro Final Fantasies, and then seven and onwards is the uh, newer age. But I feel like 13 and 15 are kind of not quite Final Fantasies. I don't know. They took it in a different direction. 13 for sure. Yeah, a lot of people didn't like it because uh, a lot of linearity, like 80% of the game, while uh, the last 20%, that's even then you had to wait to actually beat the game and then replay after the credits, which you actually unlock the rest of the game. Which, uh, well, a lot of Final Fantasy did do that. Granted, uh, a lot of the older ones, though, they did have a lot of extra stuff to do before the first time you beat the game. Or, you know, complete the final uh, story arc. Uh, 13, though. You can't do much, it's linear, so you kind of stuck to doing certain things. And even then, you're not uh, going to be strong enough to even uh, do a lot of the post game stuff pre beating the game, you know? Because in that game, you have Crystarium uh, arcs, I guess you want to call it, or branches. And new branches open up periodically. And then the final uh, opening of the branches doesn't happen as you beat the game and so uh, yeah there's pretty much no way you could do a lot of the post game stuff at all even if you wanted to um, you couldn't grind enough <laughs> to get that much so you can max out all the uh, Crystarium you get before the end of the game but you're just not going to be strong enough to do most of the uh, end game stuff so that's why people didn't like 13 and then 13 Part 2 was kind of a, like, random story. It's kind of like a filler, almost. It's something that kind of never should happen. Just a random arc just started. And then Lightning Returns, again, they kind of dug themselves into this, like, writer's, like, hole. <laughs> and so they had to, like, conclude it somehow. And so they made Lightning Returns, which is the first... Final Fantasy that had three parts, I believe. Um, and then 15, it's its own uh, interesting game. It's pretty much like they try to do everything at once. Because it's like, was it a 30 year type of anniversary type of deal with them, with uh, Final Fantasy 15? So they decided to like just take everything they've ever had in any Final Fantasy and just throw it in the game. Of course, the references, and then they made it into like a hack and slash sort of game, which is okay. You know, I mean, I don't hate it, but definitely um, goes away from the typical RTS, not RTS, uh, active battle or like kind of tactical thing where you choose uh, moves beforehand and then they mix and match with other characters. Uh, even then, vanilla Final Fantasy XV, you couldn't use everybody at the start. They didn't add that until they finished coding the multiplayer aspect. So now you can actually uh, travel around with multiple peoples. But yeah. Mm. I don't know if or when I'm going to replay XV. Uh, I did start a new playthrough on Windows, but I only got like chapter six or seven and then I stopped so yeah but uh, yeah Final Fantasy 6 is done 
I still have about two weeks to uh, play through Final Fantasy VII before a remake comes out. So hopefully I can get that done. Um, another bad thing though is uh, Final Fantasy, or, uh, Resident Evil 3 remake is coming out in two weeks. So <laughs> I'll be very crunch for time. So I do plan on playing that. I heard it was a uh, really big open world style game that has fast travel, so that's going to be new. But yeah, we'll wait and see. Yay! <laughs> I love how Dwayne just like, I'm not going to watch this birth. The real question is how did she birth that baby without a doctor? That's uh. All good. It's like, guys, come look. Tara's back. Mom's back. But yeah, this uh, theme song right here. It's like Final Fantasy's like main main theme song. Like all the retro Final Fantasies have this theme song in some capacity and it's very nostalgic to listen to it every time no I feel like there's gonna be a time where I don't care to play Final Fantasy again at least these retro ones I don't know if or when that would happen but it's always a possibility But yeah, the world is now uh, revitalizing now that Kefka's gone and all the magic. I guess it, you can say it didn't disappear, it just went back into the world. Um, so yeah, that, that could be one theory, I guess. You know, they specifically said the magic's gonna disappear. Um, the question is, how could it? Because, like, the magic just uh, was inside of Kefka. And then, of course, in all of the magicite. So, what if the espers? Oh, she took her hair down. But what if the espers, like again, poured their magic out onto the world to uh, restore it? So yeah, that is definitely a uh, another theory. But yeah, now they can all live their lives happy, little, happily ever after. Yeah, these kind of endings are really yes, yeah, bittersweet because again, like. Now that the world's saved, they can all just live. And that's a very uh, endearing thing. But yeah, I really feel like the magic uh, went back into the earth to rebuild it. Yeah, I feel like between 5 and 6, I like their uh, animations. It's very uh, smooth. Very HD as well. Nice. The end. Good stuff. Alright. And that's it.